Hello and welcome to the Magic World Review Show. I'm James Anthony and this guy is... Daniel Meadows. Oh yes, we are just returning back from the Stimp. That sounds wrong. <laughs> South Tyneside. South Tyneside. In Interna International. International Magical, Magical Festival. Festival. And uh, what an awesome weekend <sighs> that it was. Four uh, long days, but... It's Great, Four great long days. Time. We've just got back in the office this very second. And we're up till four in the morning this oh. morning, so we're probably looking a bit haggard. But it there was worth it, wasn't it? It was the best night when you get to mix with people and, and session and do lots of cool tricks. Yeah. So, yeah, good times. Thanks uh, for everyone who organised the convention. Um, it was truly amazing. What were your highlights? My highlights? There's too many, mate. There's too many. Pick a few. Pick a few. Uh, Michael Murray doing tricks for us yeah. live on camera, which a, you will see in a few moments' time. He's such on a this generous video. and creative guy, uh, so it's great to speak and exactly. hang out with Michael. Well, on this video, you're going to see a trick demonstrated by Michael Murray himself that we have in stock here at Magic World. Uh, we're postponing the review show until next week uh, because we know that you would like to see tricks being performed. We get the request all the time saying, can you show us more tricks and demos of tricks? So this week, we are showing you a demo of what a couple of tricks so just like the blackpool um special exactly. that you saw we've do, done some more live recording so you're going to see some things that we're just playing around with and we also went to some of the stands to see uh, like stephen young perform the visionary uh, that's the main one isn't it uh, so michael michael performs. in a moment we're going to cut to visionary yeah. and uh, show you what it's all about but it's a pretty cool trick isn't it yeah so some other highlights i did a satori uh, contact mind reading masterclass. We yeah. had dinner with quite a few people, like John Archer's there and Luke exactly. Zume. Um And then we also got taught how to squinch by uh, Christian Schenk. And what, that's what, what just just describe to the people at home what squinching uh, is. You're gonna see you're gonna see the before and afters of me on this video, but it's along the lines of like the the Magnum sort of look from Zoolander. Mm. So you look normal, but it's a bit like squeezing your eyes, and it's called a squinch. Well, wait a minute, you're not allowed to move your eyebrows, you are you? Can't move your eyebrows. Your eyebrows have to stay the same, but you kind of like tense. And Anthony's gonna put a, a tutorial up on how to do a squinch. How to squinch. So that'll be on on the channel. Shall we call that the, this week's episode? How to squinch. How to squinch. <laughs> uh, so but yeah, it did. Bonus footage. Of that. Watch the before and after in this clip just in a minute it's pretty pretty funny hot stuff mm, hot stuff anyway on top of that uh, like I say we'll be returning with the review show next week we've got some great items to be reviewed and um, have we got anything else to say Makes them new, new packaging, Magic World. Temporary. Squinch. A squinch. This is normal. Uh, Boo! All right. Yeah. <laughs> squinch. Right? We're live. Squinch, squinch baby. Yeah. Are squinch. we practicing Boo. that? Squinch. Yes. Yeah. Right. I'm done. cut off a certain number of those cards. Now, I'd like to cut off um, less than half because I need half the cards for myself, but just cut off some cards, put them behind your back so that I cannot see them. When you've done that, let me know. Have you done that? Yeah. Brilliant, okay. I'm gonna turn around now. At this point, I could be genuinely blindfolded, uh, but we're not gonna do that, that's a different show. We're gonna be blindfolded here, and I'd get somebody else, a friend of mine, or somebody to deal off 26 cards. <laughs> so, wait, four, six, nine, 12, 15, 15, 15, 25, 26 cards, and you get rid of them. Now, I'm going to attempt to sync now with you. It's going to be fun, isn't it? Okay, can you hold out your other hand, please? Okay, great. I'm going to attempt to 
simply work out how many cars you could have. Do you know how many cars you've got? You don't. So I, I can't read your mind, can I? But I can attempt to read your subconscious. I'm going to deal out the cars like this. And as I do, I want you to get a mental image of what it felt like to cut off those cards from the pack. Because I'm sure you're aware of how it felt. And I'm sure you probably have a rough idea in your mind how many of those cards might be, but no, I'm not there yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to get this one, to be honest. Okay, keep. That's the one. I'm not there yet. Ah. I felt the balance. Wait a minute. Is that there? That's it. That's it. Bring out the cards from behind your back. Let's not lose them. Bring out the cards. Count them out with me onto the stage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen cards. Give a round of applause. Thank you very much. Sorry, mate, you deserve better than that. <laughs> Next. Got some magic fibres that go all the way through it. Can you see the magic fibres? I fold it like this. It's a little tiny piece. We'll make it a little bit even so it looks like the same on both sides. Okay. Let's do it, do it. Yeah. Watch. From there, to here, to here. So it might not work, honestly. Okay, so you've got a red and yep. we've got a blue. Nice. Which one would you want? Precision. So we're going to take this. Um, I just want to show you that they're all, they're all mixed up. Yeah. They're not on any kind of board because they, there's two decks anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I'll tell you what, uh, I'll give you, take about that many and yeah. just give them a good mix. So it's not like that. No. Okay, so okay, it doesn't matter, just, just mix them up. So what you do is you then two cosmos just colliding together, two galaxies together, and then mix them together. So that's completely random. You're something that's not random. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the deck here, which has been here the whole time. Yeah. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to pop it here beside it. Mm -hmm. Sync with that deck. So if I click my mm -hmm. fingers, we'll see what happens. Ah. No, they're not the same. That's not the same. Ah, that's not worked. So do they? That's not the same, is it? Uh, but if we. Then if we twist it a little bit, sometimes things start to change. After all that mixing and shuffling, we can actually see, hold on, that's actually, oh, hold on, we can break that cycle as well, because we can take, <laughs> we can take it and we can bring it back, we can mix them up again. I'm going to say it's a two of spades. It's a two of spades. Say for the Magic World Review Thank show. Hello, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Have a road for me on it? Yep. What do I do? The hidden messages in life. That's your evidence. Yeah, baby. There you go, very nice. So you're really selling, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> You lot in? Are we ready to go? Yep, ready to go. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten for you, ten for you. Just give them a mix. Right. Okay. Thank you very much. In a second, I'm going to get you both to cut a few cards off and you're going to peek at this card, okay? But you're not just going to do the normal... Because mm -hmm. I might be quite big cards, I might see something. So you're going to cut them off, hold them to your chest. I'll turn away. When I've turned away, you can like have a peek, put it back again, okay? Just mix them again in case you think I've done anything dodgy. Okay. Right, so just cut, cut a few off, hold them to your chest, don't look yet. Okay, I'll turn away, give you a few seconds, look at it, put it back to your chest again, okay? Off you go. Yeah, come Well done. Yeah, okay. Yep. Oh yeah, sorry, camera needs to see Okay. Right, I'm going to give them to you. Okay. What you're going to do, you're going to read one out, put it to the back. Read it, put it to the back. While he's reading, you're going to just concentrate on your image, you're going to concentrate on your image. Hopefully at some point, between the images and the words, there's going to be a connection and we'll see what happens. Okay, so off you go. Microwave oven. Okay. Suits of armor. Michael, for me. 
fat cat. Yeah. Um, ice skates. Yeah. Strawberry jam. Stop. Strawberry jam. That's yours, isn't it, Michael? Yeah. Okay. Right. So now we've got yours. To put the strawberry jam to the back. Yeah. Okay. We're going to do the same thing again, but this time. Only read them in your mind, okay? Don't say anything out loud. All you do, don't, don't look at him, just concentrate on your image, okay? Okay? Off you go. Don't. Oh, sorry. Okay. Look at me. Yeah, good. Stop there for a second. What was your image? A surgical image, uh, instrument. And what picture are you looking at now? <laughs> Thank you. Woo! Woo! Okay? That was more than okay. okay. Was, the, was the mic on? That was the question I was going to ask. The mic was on. Yeah, the mic was good. Hey. Let's check. Yeah. Okay, this is uh, Jasper Blakely's Deal of Misfortune. Now, I'm going to ask you a question there, uh, John. I want you to be honest in your reply. Do you gamble at all? Uh, a little bit on the and horses. On the horse, perfect, okay. Uh, because what I'm here to do today is basically to put an end to that. And I'm going to show you why you shouldn't gamble. Right. Because a lot of people think that it's their choice to gamble, how much to gamble, uh, when to gamble, and when to stop gambling. That's not true. The choices aren't yours. And I'm going to prove that to you now. Uh, what we've got is we've got uh, some cards. So I'm going to take those cards, mm -hmm. just like this. Perfect. And once you've done that, if you just drop them in a little pile just under the table, and same again over here. Now, did that seem like a free choice, John? Absolutely. But what's interesting is, yeah, perfect. What's interesting is I didn't actually ask you to shuffle those cards. All I did was, I just done that. I followed, so, so, followed yeah, and you followed suit. So basically, you were influenced against your will. Okay. And I'm going to show you basically just how far we can take this influence. What I want you to do is just decide which of these cards that you want. It's a free choice. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. Which one do you want for you? The five. Okay. Now, did you notice I said it's a free choice? This is basically subtly influencing, obviously, the choices that you make. You thought that was a free choice, but it wasn't. It was anything but. Okay. You've got zero choice. Which one do you want? I left it zero. Okay, did you notice obviously I put a little heavy emphasis on that? And I'm influencing your choice all the way. So that seemed like a free choice, but it wasn't. Okay, which one for me? And it seemed like a free choice, but it's not. You have the five. Okay, perfect. You fell into the trap, everybody does. Okay, now which one for me? We're gonna cycle between me and you. We'll alternate between me and you. But which one for me? Think about it. No, I, uh, I think you should have the seven. Okay, perfect. Works every time. Did you say which one for me? <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah, but I was using a double bluff there. You know, it's all these psychological terms. So, um, so that was one for me. So, which one for you? Uh, the three. Which one for me? Uh, the one. And then basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you into a little, um, a little secret. Basically, what this is about, it's about generating the biggest four-digit number possible with your cards. Right. So what I'm going to do is, casinos will do this, they'll use a little clever rules, they, they like to make you think that they're being fair. So I'm even going to give you the seven because you can create a bigger number with a seven than you can a three. Uh -huh. Okay, that makes sense. Uh -huh. Have you ever heard of something called the house edge? Yeah, like what the casino mm -hmm. has. I'll show you what the house edge is. Can you make the biggest four-digit number possible with your cards? I think you can maybe make it a little bit bigger. Sorry. It's all right. I'm trying to help you. And casinos <laughs> will actually uh, lead you to believe that uh, they're, they're actually doing things here, but they're not. This is what I mean by the house edge. You notice basically I win, but just by a small enough margin for you to say, damn, that was close. <laughs> maybe if I have another go, maybe I'll be luckier. Now, those seemed like free choices, John. Yeah, absolutely. But the one thing but, and this is the life lesson I want you to walk away, because if you gamble, ultimately, John, you will always lose. <laughs> okay? Because I just want you to remember that it's only ever the dealer or the casino that wins. <laughs> and despite the fact that it seemed like a free choice, but the only choice that you've got in the matter is to be poor. <laughs> because remember, it's only ever the de the uh, casino or the dealers that will be rich. Bravo, that is brilliant. Great. Michael Murray, live and kicking. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed those few clips that we just played. Um, it's been a truly amazing convention at the South Town side. We must agree. Definitely one to recommend. Definitely. So if you're around next year, make sure you get your tickets booked. Um, there's going to be lots of great acts there next year as well. And a big thank you to Carrie Prynne, Martin Duffy, and all the organisers of the convention uh, for making us feel so welcome. Yeah. See you next week. Bye. Okay, no, let's do it again.
See you next week, guys and girls. Until then, ciao for now. Right, I think it's time that we, uh, we scoot off and make this magic shop looking beautiful again. Let's pack it, get it, everything packed away. I thought you were going to say something like Izzy Wizzy, let's get busy or something. <laughs> yeah, nice. No, the new magic word is boom. Boom. Well, that, was, that was like one of the most annoying things to be said, wasn't it? It's like someone, someone said at the convention, said, what things annoy you most as a magician? When pe magicians go, boom! No, that wasn't that it. That was one thing. It wasn't. That was one. It wasn't. Right, it's okay for the record. It was people who post statuses that say, just smash that gig, boom. That was just one. That, no, that was one example. Oh, so it wasn't the right. word boom. I had someone else individually who was like against the word boom. No, no, no. no. Like, it's lost the plot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? <Well, laughs> I've, I've got to go. Right, we need right. to uh, outro this and I'll just cut. Yeah, it's just, hard to cut. Okay. Just say to see you soon next week. <laughs> I've not said that in <laughs> ages. Back on four. I've not said back that in ages. Four. Okay, yeah. let's get tidying this uh, magic shop up. <laughs> this is normal. Uh, Boo! Alright! Yeah. <laughs> squinch! Right? We're live! Squinch, squinch baby! Are we practicing now? Boo! Squinch, yes! Yeah! Right, I'll be on the video, right? You saw the.